Oh. Good morning. Come on. There we are. We're on. Good morning. Come on. It's good to be with you. Det er så godt at være her sammen med jer. As I walk in the door, I meet a lot of familiar faces. Og som jeg gik ind ad døren her, så mødte jeg rigtig mange kendte ansigter. So it's so good to be with you. Så det er så godt at være sammen med jer. As I was walking in, og som jeg gik ind, I was met by a young man that I met three years ago. Så mødte jeg lige med en ung mand, som jeg første gang mødte for tre år siden. And he says, Amy, do you remember me? Og han sagde, Amy, kan du huske mig? I said, yeah, I think I do. Og så sagde jeg, ja, det tror jeg godt, jeg kan. He said, I'm the one that was healed from depression. Ja, jeg var ham, der blev helbredt fra en depression. I said, well, how are you today? Og så sagde han, hvordan har du det i dag? He said, I'm healed. Han sagde, jeg er helbredt. He says, I'm great, I'm enjoying life. Ja, jeg har det så godt og nyder livet. Halleluja. Halleluja. Jesus is healing his people today. Jesus helbreder sit folk i dag. Amen. Amen. Did you come in expectation? Er du kommet her med forventning? Did you come expecting to receive something from Jesus? Er du kommet her med en forventning om at modtage noget fra Jesus? Because if you did, Fordi well, he's here to give it to you. Fordi hvis du gjorde, så er han her for at give det til dig. Gifts from Jesus. Gaver fra Jesus. Amen. Amen. My name is Amy Kemp. Jeg hedder Amy Kemp. Come from Texas. Jeg kommer fra Texas. Yeah, who said woohoo? Yes. <laughs> Been coming back and forth to this beautiful country this year marks 12 years. Og jeg kom frem og tilbage til det her skønne land, og i år så bliver det 12 år. I will just tell you over the years I've seen little by little the Lord bring a mighty breakthrough. Og jeg kan bare vidne om at igen de her 12 år så har jeg set lidt efter lidt hvordan Herren han har bragt mere og mere gennembrud. We are seeing people saved and coming into the church. Og vi ser mennesker blive frelst og komme ind i kirker. And we're seeing the mighty move of the miracle power of the Holy Spirit. Og vi ser Hvordan Helligåndens mægtige bevægelse har virket. So if you need a healing from Jesus today. Så hvis du har brug for en helbredelse fra Jesus i dag. He is here. Så er han her. The Holy Spirit is here. Helligånden er her. And he's here to dispense all that Jesus paid for you to have. Og han er her for at uddele alt det som Jesus har betalt prisen for. Amen. Amen. I will just briefly say something. Jeg vil bare lige kort <laughs> sige noget. I've written a book. Jeg har skrevet den her bog. It's my journey to Jesus. Det er min rejse til Jesus. If you struggle with your identity in Jesus. Hvis du kæmper med din identitet i Jesus. If you find yourself in bondage in an area and you want freedom. Eller hvis du kæmper på et område i dit liv hvor du ikke kan få frihed. This Book is my journey but it's full of the word of God. Så så kan du læse den her bog som er min rejse og som er fyldt med ord fra Bibelen. And perhaps the Lord has a truth that will bring freedom to your life. Og måske er det den Gud vil bruge til at bringe frihed ind på et område i dit liv. Amen. Amen. It's out there it's in Danish and English. Den ligger herude i hullen på dansk og på engelsk. A few years ago the Lord opened the door to put it in Danish. Og for nogle få år siden så åbnede Gud døren så den blev oversat til engelsk, altså til dansk. <laughs> Because there's something about having it in your own language. Og det er noget med det at kunne læse en bog på sit eget sprog. So it's here for you. Så den er her til dig. It was translated for you. Den er oversat lige netop til dig. Amen. Amen. So I want to give this away. So jeg vil gerne give den her bog til nogen. You in the purple. Come take it. Yeah. Come take it. Dig den i det lille blus. Kom og tag den. Well, God has put some things on my heart. Gud har lagt noget på mit hjerte. I'm going to try to be simple and straight to the point if that's okay. Oh, jeg vil prøve på at gøre det meget enkelt, men alligevel lige på. 
I believe the church loves simple and straight to the point. Og jeg tror på at kirken elsker det enkle, men alligevel må man ramme plet. When I mean straight to the point, når jeg ligesom siger lige på, I mean straight to the cross. <laughs> så mener jeg lige til korset. Eyes to Jesus. Vores øjne rettet mod Jesus. And the Lord says I want you to remind them of their value. Og han har sagt til mig, jeg vil du skal minde dem om deres værdi. Jesus paid a great price because you are valuable to him. Jesus betalte en høj pris, fordi du er så værdifuld for ham. And he wants to remind you of that today. Og det ønsker han at minde dig om her i dag. I'm here just to remind you of who you are in Christ. Og jeg er her for at minde dig om hvem du er i Kristus. God has sent us to build you up and to strengthen you. Gud har sendt mig her for at bygge dig op og styrke dig. Amen. Amen. Jesus gives us a picture of our value. It's in Matthew chapter Where am I at? Chapter 13. Og Jesus han giver os et billede af vores værdi her i Matteus 13. Verse 45 and 46. You guys are if you have it you're welcome. If you can get it to put it up, it'd be great. Vers 45 og vers 46. And Jesus is describing and telling people what the kingdom of God is like. Og Jesus han uh, underviser her og fortæller hvad Guds rige kan lignes med. And he says again the kingdom of God is like a merchant seeking fine pearls. Og han siger igen himmeriget ligner en købmand der søgte efter smukke perler. And upon finding one pearl of great value. Og da han fandt en særlig kostbar perle. He went and sold all that he had and he bought it. Og gik han hen og solgte alt hvad han ejede og købte den. Do you know this is a picture of the Lord's eyes towards you? Ved du godt at det er et billede på Herrens øjne på dig? Jesus says you are the pearl of great value. Jesus siger du er den perle der har stor værdi. Jesus says I left heaven and all the glory to come and be made flesh for you. Og Jesus han sagde, at han forlod himlens herlighed med alt hvad det var der og blev gjort til kød I for dig. The son of man. Og blev menneskesøn. So that I could buy you. Så at jeg kan købe dig. And he bought us out of the kingdom of darkness. Og han købte os ud af mørkets rige. What does darkness look like? Hvad, hvordan ser mørket ud? Sin. Søn. Death. Død. Judgment. Dom. Sickness. Sydom. He bought us out of the kingdom of darkness. Han købte os ud af mørkets rige. But the good news is. Men de gode nyheder. The Bible says he didn't just bring us out. Bibelen siger han bragte os ikke bare ud. He brought us in. Han førte os ind. He brought us into the kingdom of light. Han førte os ind i lysets rige. Come on, he brought us into the kingdom of light. Kom nu, han førte os ind i lysets rige. What is light? Hvad er lys? It's pardon. Det forgiveness. Det er tilgivelse. It's healing. Det er helbredelse. It's deliverance. Det er udfrielse. It's prosperity. Det er fremgang. It's a sound mind. Det er sund sind. He brought you out to bring you in. Han købte dig ud for at føre dig ind. If you're not experiencing being in, hvis ikke du oplever det at være inde, today's an invitation to come on in. Så er igen en invitation til at komme ind. Because he paid a big price to bring you in. Fordi han betalte en høj pris for at føre dig ind. The Bible says that God put us in His Son. Bibelen siger at Gud han satte os ind i sin søn. Don't you know that's a great price? Ved du ikke godt, at det er en høj pris, han betalte? What does it mean to be in Christ? Hvad betyder det at være i Kristus? Because the Bible says that every blessing that God has for us is in Christ. Fordi Bibelen siger, at hver velsignelse Gud har til os, den får vi i Kristus. Our righteousness is in Christ. Vores retfærdighed er i Kristus. Our freedom is in Christ. Vores frihed er i Kristus. And when the blood of Jesus brought you out, God set you in his son. Og da Jesu blod købte dig ud, der satte han dig i 
Christus, hans søn. This is good news. Det er gode nyheder. Because that means Fordi det betyder, that when God looks at you and me, at når Gud ser på dig og mig, He sees us in the light. Så ser han også i lyset. He sees us in His Son. Han ser os i sin søn. He doesn't see us in darkness. Han ser os ikke i mørket. Because he says, I took you out. Fordi han siger, jeg tog dig ud. And I brought you in. Og jeg har købt dig, så du kan komme ind. This is what the Father sees when He looks at you and me. Det er det, Faderen ser, når han ser på dig og mig. That's good news. Det er gode nyheder. You know why it's good news? Ved du hvorfor det er gode nyheder? Because we're not trying to persuade God to put us in the light. Fordi vi prøver ikke på at overtale Faderen til at sætte os ind i lyset. I'm not trying to persuade God to heal me. Jeg prøver ikke på at overtale Gud til at helbrede mig. I just mig. say, Father. Jeg siger bare far. Thank you. Tak. That when you brought me out, you at, put me in. At da du købte mig ud, så førte du mig også ind. Mm. And by the stripes of Jesus I am healed. Og ved Jesus så da er jeg helbredt. Father help me to see myself in the light. Far hjælp mig til at se mig selv i lyset. Help me to take hold that I am in Christ. Hjælp mig til at få fat på at jeg er i Kristus. That my sins have been removed. At mine synder de er fjernet fra mig. And that you're smiling upon me. Og at du du smiler imod mig. God, you're on my side. Gud, du er på min side. I'm not trying to persuade you to be on my side. Jeg prøver ikke på at overtale dig til at være på min side. But you're on my side. Men du er på min side. Because you're my father. Fordi du er min far. Jesus paid that God would be our father. Jesus betalte prisen for at Gud kunne blive vores far. I remember many many years ago. Jeg husker for mange år siden. When I first came to Denmark. Da jeg første gang kom til Danmark. I had just come out of a year of missions. Og der havde jeg lige været et år på øh, på missions. Anybody på mission. familiar with the Los Angeles Dream Center? Og er der nogen her der kender Los Angeles Dream Center? I'd spent a year there on the streets ministering to homeless teens. Der har jeg været et år, hvor jeg tjente blandt hjemløse ude på gaden. So I had just come out of that and when I came to Denmark for the first time. Så jeg var, kom lige direkte fra det Dream Team, da jeg kom her til Danmark første gang. And I know something about the beautiful Danish people. Og jeg ved noget om de skønne danskere. I remember I was standing with a group of Christians. Well, jeg, jeg stod sammen med en gruppe kristne. And, and at this time I was shy to pray out loud. Og på det tidspunkt der var jeg sådan lidt generet for at bede højt ud. It's something that happens when you believe you're in the light. Men der sker noget når du tror på at du er i lyset. The shyness disappears. <laughs> så, så, så kan man se noget eller så, så stråler det igen. But I'll never forget this. Men jeg vil aldrig glemme. I remember I just wept. Jeg stod bare og græd. I said, God, what is this? Og jeg sagde, Gud, hvad er det her? What do these people have? Hvad har de her mennesker? They have something so precious. De har noget der er så dyrbart. We don't have this in the US. Det har vi ikke i USA. We were praying. Vi bad. And I heard this. Og jeg hørte det her. Tak far. Tak far. <laughs> tak far. Thank you, Father. Tak far. Thank you, Father. Tak far. Thank you that you're near. Tak at du er nær. Thank you that you're here. Og tak at du er her. Thank you that you hear us. Tak fordi du hører os. Thank you that you're moving. Tak fordi du bevæger dig. Thank you, Father. Tak far. And I said, an overwhelming presence of Father came into me. Og en overvældende nærvær af far. Faderen kom ind i mig. Because I'd always said God. <coughs> jeg har altid bare sagt Gud. He is God. Og han er Gud. But God is my father. <laughs> Men Gud er min far. So you guys have imparted something into this American. Så so, uh, i danskere, I har givet noget ind til mig som amerikaner. <coughs> And I want to encourage you. Og jeg vil gerne bare opmuntre jer. So maybe it's by habit. Måske det er en vane. Maybe you you just say it by habit. Eller I du, don't know. Du bare siger det sådan helt automatisk. Maybe it's a real revelation. Og måske er det en virkelig åbenbaring. Father. Far. When you say father, når I siger far, you're saying I'm under your care. Så siger du med andre ord, jeg er under din beskyttelse. I'm in your light. Jeg er inde i dit lys. I'm in your love. Jeg er inde i din kærlighed. 
And I am that fine pearl that you found. Og jeg er den kostbare fine perle som du har fundet. The word father. Ord far. Jesus says that's the name he came to reveal to us. Der siger Jesus at det er det navn han er kommet for at åbenbare til os. May the Holy Spirit. Må Helligånden. Give you a fresh revelation today. Give dig en frisk ny åbenbaring i dag. Of the word father. Af ordet far. And really what that means. Og virkelig hvad det betyder. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You didn't know you blessed this American, huh? I vidste ikke at I ville sige sådan en amerikansk pige her. Jesus said you didn't choose me. Jesus sådan sagde ikke I har udvalgt mig. You didn't run to me. Det var ikke jeg, der løb hen til mig. You were bound in darkness. I var bundet i mørket. I came running to you. Men jeg kom løbende til jer. I chose you. Og jeg har udvalgt jer. I called you. Og jeg har kaldet jer. I anointed you. Og jeg har salvet jer. I glorified you. Og jeg har herliggjort jer. This was all my work. Det var alt sammen mit værk. It wasn't your idea. Det var ikke din idé. It was my love. Det var min kærlighed. I came looking for you. Jeg kom og opsøgte og så efter dig. I was searching for you because I said you have value. Jeg søgte efter dig fordi jeg så du havde værdi. Hear the words of Jesus. Her er Jesu ord. And upon finding one pearl of great value, <coughs> og finde en smuk kostbar perle der havde stor værdi, he went out and gave up everything to buy you. Gik han hen og solgte alt hvad han ejede og købte den. Amen. Amen. Isaiah 62. Isaiah 62. I'll just read verse one. By the first of us. For Zion's sake, I will not keep quiet. For Zion's sake, will I not tie? For the sake of the church, I cannot keep silent. For Kirken's sake, can I not tie still? And for Jerusalem's sake, I will not keep silent. And for Jerusalem's sake, will I not be silent? Until her righteousness goes forth like brightness. For Hannah's right bryder frem i klarhed. And her salvation like a torch that is burning. Og hendes frelse som en flammende fakkel. The nations will see your righteousness. Nationerne vil se din retfærdighed. And the nations will see I'll just read it again. The nations will see your righteousness. Nationerne vil se jeres herlighed eller retfærdighed. And all the kings your glory. Og alle konger din eller jeres herlighed. And you will be called by a new name. Og du skal få et nyt navn. Which the mouth of the Lord has designated. Som Herren selv bestemmer. And you will also be a crown of beauty in the hand of the Lord. Og du bliver en prægtig krone i Herrens hånd. And a royal diadem in the hand of your God. Og en kongelig turban i din Guds hånd. No longer will it be said of you forsaken. Og du skal ikke længere hedde den forladte. Nor your land will be called desolate. Eller dit land skal ikke længere hedde den forstøtte. But you will be called. Men du bliver kaldt. My delight is in you. Med den elskede, siger den danske, eller min, min, min herlighed, min glæde er i dig, siger den engelske. I'm gonna call you by a new name. Jeg kommer til at kalde dig med et nyt navn. My delight is in you. Min glæde er i dig. You remember when Jesus came out of the Jordan after he was baptized by John? Kan du huske, da Jesus kom op fra Jordan, efter at han var blevet døbt af Johannes? And the Bible says the heavens opened to him. Og Bibelen siger, at himlen åbnede sig over ham. And the Father spoke. Og Faderen talte. And he said, this is my son. Hvor han sagde, denne er min søn. This is my beloved son. Det her, det er min elskede søn. In whom I am well. Please. I hvem jeg har stor velbehag. 
This word, my delight is in her. Det her ord, at min glæde er i hende. It's the same as in you I am well pleased. Og det, det, det med andre ord siger han, i dig har jeg velbehag. God says in you I delight. Gud han siger, jeg har min glæde i dig. In you I am well pleased. Jeg har, jeg, du har min velbehag. And you think, how can this be? Og du siger, hvordan kan det ske? The, does God not see I have imperfections? Kan Gud ikke se alle mine ufuldkommenheder? God sees you in the light. Gud han ser dig i lyset. God sees you in Christ. Gud ser dig i Kristus. He'll never see us outside of Christ. Han vil aldrig nogensinde se os uden for Kristus. For he's taken us out and brought us in to Christ. Fordi han har taget os ud og sat os ind i Kristus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm an evangelist, so I'm not used to looking at a clock. Jeg er en evangelist, så jeg plejer ikke sådan at holde øje med uret. I'm like, Holy Spirit, help me this morning. Og jeg siger bare, Helion, hjælp mig her til morgen. I have a lot on my heart, help me. <laughs> jeg har så meget på mit hjerte, så hjælp mig. <laughs> You're the fine pearl. Du er den her kostbare perle. He says, I'm well pleased with you. Og han siger, jeg har stor behag i dig. Because you're in my son. Fordi du er i min Because søn. Because you believed in my son without seeing him. Fordi du tror på min søn uden at have set ham. My delights in you. Så so derfor er min glæde i dig. But how many you know we have an enemy? Men hvor mange her ved vi har en fjende? The Bible calls him the accuser of the brethren. Og Bibelen kalder ham for brødrenes anklager. Do you re- do you not realize it doesn't say the accuser? Of the sinner. Og læg lige mærke til, der står ikke, at han er søndernes anklager. He's the accuser of the brethren, Nej, the saints. Han, han er brødrenes anklager, altså anklageren af de hellige. So the moment we put faith in Jesus Christ. Så so det øjeblik, vi kommer til tro på Jesus Kristus. The accuser. Så so vil anklageren. Begins to attack us. Så so vil han begynde at angribe os. And I want to read you a, a short passage. Jeg vil gerne bare lige læse en kort afsnit. And I want to show you what this looked like. Og jeg vil gerne lige vise dig hvordan det ser ud. I believe it's going to open your eyes jeg this morning. På det skal åbne dine øjne her til morgen. And it's going to cause you to rise above the attacks of the enemy. Og det skal få dig til at rejse dig over fjendens angreb. And you're going to hold fast that I'm his beloved. Og du kommer til at holde fast ved at jeg er hans elskede. That I'm the fine pearl. At jeg er den kostbare perle. Amen. Amen. Zachariah 3. Zacharias 3. It's just a few verses. Det er bare lige nogle få vers. Joshua the high priest. Joshua, øverste præsten. He was under accusation. Han var under anklage. His conscience was being heavily Bombarded with accusation. Hans samvittighed blev kra- var under kraftig bombardement fra fjenden. And he <coughs> felt, you'll realize that he felt down in despair. <laughs> Og han følte sig noget nedtryk, nedtrykt i, i fortvivlelse. And the devil was trying to push him down and push him down in his thoughts. Og djævlen prøvede virkelig på at trykke ham ned og trykke ham ned i hans tanker. But the word of the Lord came to Zechariah. Men Herrens ord kom til Zacharias. Hallelujah for the word of the Lord. Hallelujah for Herrens ord. Do you know God is still speaking the word of the Lord in his house? Vil Gud han han tager stadigvæk sit ord i sit hus. And when that word comes, God is delivering his people. Og når det ord kommer, så udfrier Gud sit folk. So God sends the word for so, Joshua's sake. <laughs> så Gud sendte ordet for Josuas skyld. But he also sent it for the sake of Israel. Men han sendte det også for Israels skyld. Because Joshua was the high priest. Fordi Josua var øverste præst. And the high priest represents all the people to God. Fordi øverste 
præsten repræsenterede hele folket inden for Gud. All the standing of the people was wrapped up in the high priest. Alle de folk der stod, de var ligesom de var ligesom et med øverste præsten. So with Joshua being under heavy heavy accusation and being pushed down it was not good for the children of Israel so now uh, Joshua øverste præsten var under den her bombardement og var blevet trykket ned så var det ikke godt for folket for Israel i want to give you just a little background so you understand så jeg vil gerne bare lige give en lille baggrund så at du forstår Zechariah 3 i'm going to start in verse 1 og Zacharias 3 det første vers Then he showed me Joshua the high priest standing before the angel of the Lord. Så so lod han mig se øverste præsten Josva som stod foran Herrens engel. And the angel was standing at his right hand accusing him. Uh, mens, uh, the Danish says Satan, mens, That's okay. mens Satan stod på hans højre side for at anklage ham. And the Lord said, Og Herren sagde, The Lord rebuke you Satan. To Satan. Herren i rette sætte dig Satan. Indeed the Lord has chosen Jerusalem rebukes you. Herren som har udvalgt Jerusalem i rette sætte dig. Is this not the hand that's been plucked out of the fire? Er denne mand ikke et stykke brænde der er trukket ud af ilden? Now Joshua was clothed with filthy garments. Og Joshua stod med snavsede klæder. And standing before the angel. Og stod for en englen. He was standing in the high priest uh, robe. Han stod der i øverste præstens kappe eller klædning. The robe was not filthy. Kappen var ikke beskidt. But in his conscience he was so condemned he began to see himself dirty. Men i hans bevidsthed, i hans samvittighed, der var han så fordømt, så han følte sig beskidt. And because he was so condemned, he was seeing his garments dirty. Oh, so på grund af at han følte sig så uh, trykket ned af Satan, så følte han sig også at han var beskidt. But he spoke and said to those who were standing before him, men han talte og sagde til dem der stod foran ham, remove the filthy garments from him. Tag de snavsede klæder af ham. Again he said to him. Og igen sagde han til ham. See I have removed your iniquity from you. Se, jeg har fjernet din skyld fra dig. And I have clothed you with a festive robe. Og jeg har givet dig festklæder på. What is this festive robe? Hvad er det for nogle festklæder? It's the robe of righteousness. Det er retfærdighedens klædning. It's the very righteousness of Jesus. Det er Jesu retfærdighed. God says This one's been plucked out of the fire. Og Gud sagde, den her er revet ud af ilden. This one's been brought out of darkness. Den her er revet ud af mørket. This one's come into the light. Den her mand er kommet til lyset. I've removed his iniquity. Jeg fjerner hans uretfærdighed fra ham. Quickly, get the robe. Hurtigt, kom med kappen. He needs to be reminded who he is. Oh, so he can be reminded of who he is. He needs to be reminded of his value. Han må mindes om hans værdi. He needs to be reminded the blood has removed his sin. Han skal mindes om at blodet har fjernet hans søn. Because a return to identity would change his conscience. For the day at he went on to his sane identity, they will ender his samvittighed. He was seeing himself dirty. He saw himself some beskid. And the Lord's response is, "I want you to remind him how he looks before me." Oh, Hans' response is, "I will." Hans skal mindes om hvem han virkelig er. Put the robe on him. Come kappen på ham. I see him righteous. For he has seen him rightfully. I've removed his iniquity. I have fjernet hans uretfærdighed fra ham. I've plucked him out of the fire. Og jeg har revet ham ud af ilden. Clothe him. Iklæd ham. Let them put a clean turban on his head. Og let let them give him en en ren turban på hans hoved. So they put a clean turban on his head. Så de gav ham en ren turban på hans hoved. And they clothed him with garments. Og de iklædte ham eh de, de her flotte smykker. While the angel of the Lord stood by. Mens Herrens engel stod ved siden af. Put a clean turban on his head. Give him en ren turban. His thoughts are dark. Hans tanker er formørket. 
Remind him who he is. Mind ham om hvem han er. He's royalty. Han er kongelig. He's the fine pearl. Han er den kostbare perle. He has value. Han har værdi. He's clean. Han er ren. He's not dirty. Han er ikke beskidt. He's not filthy. Han er ikke uren. I've plucked him from the fire. Jeg har revet ham ud af ilden. I want to show you. Jeg vil gerne vise dig. If you were here last night, we got var, a little bit of it. Vi ser var her i går aften, så så I lidt af det. I just want to remind you church. Men jeg vil gerne bare minde dig kirke om. My heart for the church. Mit hjerte for kirken. Is to remove the reproach. Er at tage skammen væk. Because if we begin to see ourselves as God sees us. Fordi når vi begynder at se os selv som Gud ser os. It will change everything. Så vil det forvandle alt. We've been under accusation too long. Vi har alt for længe været under anklager. We have been plucked from the fire. Vi er blevet revet ud af ilden. It was God's doing. Og det var Gud der gjorde det. By the blood of Christ. Ved Kristi blod. We're not in darkness. Vi er ikke længere i mørket. We are in the light. Vi er i lyset. He has clothed us in the righteousness of Jesus. Han har i klædt os i så retfærdighed. We are clean. Vi er rene. Wash clean. Ren vasket. And he wants us to see ourselves as we truly are. Are in Christ. Og han vil gerne at vi ser os selv som vi i sandhed er i Kristus. So Joshua the high priest. Så so Josva øverste præsten. The turban. Turban is also a picture of the crown. Det er også et billede på kronen. Royalty. Kongelig. You Royal. belong to the king. Vi tilhører kongen. You are royalty. Du er Royal, du er kongelig. God, he says, you're the royal diadem crown in my hand. Og Jesus eller Gud han siger, du er den royale kongelige diadem i and, min hånd. And he says, I look at you. Og han siger, jeg så på dig. And I say, wow, son, you did such a perfect job. Og jeg sagde bare, eller Gud sagde, wow, min søn gjorde sådan fuldkommet værk. Aren't they so beautiful? So smooth. So beautiful. So smooth. Without spot, without wrinkle. Beautiful. Uden plet eller rynke, uden fejl. Oh, I delight in her. Oh, jeg har min glæde i hende. Oh, I'm well pleased with her. Jeg har mit stor velbehag i hende. Crown on your head. This is how you look before the Father. Kronen på dit hoved. Det er sådan du ser ud inden for Faderen. Come up closer. I want them to see. We look in the mirror. Vi ser os selv i spejlet. Sometimes the devil is shooting so much accusation. Og nogle gange så skyder djævlen så mange anklager imod os. We see filthy garments. Så så ser vi bare beskidte klæder. But it's not the truth in heaven. Men det er ikke sandheden i himlen. Heaven says, this is how you look. Himlen siger, det er sådan her du ser ud. This is how you look before the Father. Det er sådan du ser ud ind for Faderen. Paid for by the blood of Jesus. Betalt med Jesu blod. Came to us free. Og det kom helt frit og kvitt til os. But he paid a heavy price at Calvary. Men han betalte en, en enorm pris på Golgata. He became sin. Han blev gjort til søn. He knew no sin. Og han kendte ikke til søn. That we would be made the righteousness of God in him. For at vi skulle blive gjort til retfærdighed i ham. A great price. En kæmpe pris. He paid to rescue us. Den betalte han for at redde os. So that Jesus could clothe us in his garments. Sådan at Jesus kunne iklæde os hans klæder. You must know this is the righteousness of Jesus. Og du må forstå det her, det er Jesu retfærdighed. It's the robe of righteousness. Det er retfærdighedens kappe eller klæder that every believer received when they believed on Christ. Så alle troende tager imod når de kommer til tro på Jesus. This is how you look all the time before the Father. Det er sådan her du ser ud hele tiden ind for Faderen. The Father will always see you in the light of His Son. Faderen vil altid se dig i lyset af sin søn. May the truth, må sandheden, bring freedom, bring frihed. Jesus said you'll know the truth. Og Jesus han siger du vil kende sandheden. 
But you have to know it. Og men du må kende den. How do I know it? Hvordan kommer jeg til at kende den? I gotta hear it. Jeg må høre den. So when I hear it, it drops in my heart. Så når jeg hører den, så falder den ned i mit hjerte. It mixed with faith. Og giver mig tro. Now I know. Så nu ved jeg. This is how my father sees me. At det er sådan her min far ser mig. And Jesus says, the truth that you know it will make you free. Og Jesus han siger, den sandhed som du kender, den vil sætte dig fri. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sit back. Three minutes. I have something for you. Sæt dig tilbage i tre minutter. Jeg har noget til dig. I want to show you what happened the day that God looked upon you. Jeg vil gerne lige vise dig, hvad der skete den dag, hvor Gud så på dig. Everything Jesus did. Alt hvad Jesus gjorde. Was for you and me. Det er til dig og mig. May you see it today afresh. Må du se det i dag igen på ny. Everything that was headed to you and me. Alt som ligesom var rettet imod dig og mig. The sin. Sønnen. The death. Død. The judgment. Dom. The penalty. Straffen. Sickness. Sygdom. Fell on him. For alt sammen faldt på ham. For you and me. For dig og mig. Amen. Amen.
Amen. Hello, am I on? Yes. Everything headed to you and me. Alt som var rettet imod dig og mig. I want you to realize. Jeg vil at du skal indse. All the wrath of God that was supposed to fall on us. Alt det, alt Guds vrede som egentlig var tiltænkt os. All the judgment of God that was supposed to come on us. Alt Guds dom som vi egentlig rettelig havde skulle ramme os. Because of God's broken law. På grund af Guds at vi havde brudt loven. It fell on him. Den faldt på ham. There's no more judgment for you and me. Der er ikke mere dom eller fordømmelse for dig og mig. It's finished. Det er fuldbragt. Can we stand? Kan vi stå op? It's an invitation. Det er en invitation to receive. Til at tage imod a fresh. På ny. You are that fine pearl. Du er den kostbare perle. That he left heaven's glory to become a man. At han forlod himlens herlighed for at blive et menneske. And he gave up everything to buy you. Og han opgav alt for at købe dig. Is there anyone here? Er der nogen her? You've never put faith in Christ Jesus. Og du har aldrig nogensinde kommet til tro på Jesus. All that Jesus did, he did it for you. Alt hvad Jesus gjorde, det gjorde The Bible for says dig. you cannot see the kingdom of heaven unless you're born again. Og Bibelen siger du kan ikke se Guds rige, himlen, you medmindre must du bliver be født på ny. Born again. Du må blive født på ny. Jesus will take you from darkness and put you in his light. Jesus han vil tage dig ud fra mørket og føre dig over i hans lys. And it happens in a moment when you believe. Og det sker på et øjeblik, når and, du bare tror. And you confess that he's your Lord. Og du bekender at han er din herre. Is there anyone here? Er der nogen her? Just lift your hand. Så bare løft din hånd. That's one over here. I see that. Church people are coming to Christ. Kirke mennesker kommer til Jesus. Halleluja. Halleluja. Church, let's pray together. Kirke, lad os bede sammen. See, dear Jesus. See, kære Jesus. I believe you are the Son of God. Jeg tror på at du er Guds søn. You died on the cross for my sin. Og du døde på korset for min søn. And you were raised from the dead when I was justified in you. Og du blev og, og da du blev oprejst fra døden, der blev jeg retfærdiggjort i dig. I receive. Jeg tager imod. That your blood. At dit blod. Washes me clean. Vasker mig ren. I'm now out of darkness. Jeg er ikke længere i mørket. And now I'm in the light. Men nu er jeg i lyset. I'm now in Christ. Nu er jeg i Kristus. Judgment is over. Dom er forbi. Now I have your smile. Nu har jeg dit smil. You are my father. Du er min far. I confess with my mouth. Og jeg bekender med min mund. Jesus, you are my Lord. Jesus, du er min herre. You are my savior. Du er min frelser.